So this is Inverse Facebook page. And whoa, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool, man? Isn't science fiction awesome? All right. Oh, look. 1,238,000 people like this. Whoa, 1.2 million people like this page. Inverse. Oh, and you know the only reason I'm here is because I heard they made a video about the flat earth. Oh, sweet, here it is. The flat earth movement is making a comeback. Well, I wonder what Inverse has to say. I mean, they have 1.2 million people who like the page. How many people have watched this video? Whoa! Almost half a million people have watched this video. Well, I hope they have good things to say about the flat earth. Let's... Did I just see? Oh no, you didn't! Oh hell no! Oh, it's on now, bitch! It is 2017 and the Flat Earth Movement is indeed making a comeback. That part is true. However, almost everything else in this video was entirely false and, for lack of a better term, it was bullshit. So let's start off with gravity. This part they got right. Flat earthers know for a fact gravity does not exist. If I were to simultaneously drop a microphone and a helium balloon at the same time, the microphone would fall to the earth because it is more dense than the air in which surrounds it and the helium balloon rises because it is more buoyant than the air that which surrounds it. This guy floating around inside of an airplane with balls around his face is no proof of gravity. Anyone can jump inside of a zero-g airplane doing parabolic maneuvers and float around and simulate the feeling of weightlessness. Now we will get to this absolutely bogus claim that flat earthers believe that the earth is rising upward. I've never met, seen, smelled, or heard of any flat earther who thinks that the earth is moving up, sideways, down, or diagonally. In fact, every single flat earther I've ever spoken to or ever heard speak will all unanimously agree 
that the earth is not only flat, but it is not moving in any way, shape, or form. In fact, it's even in the Bible that the earth is set upon its foundation so that it cannot be moved. No legitimate flat earther has ever said dark matter pushed anything upward. Nor did they ever say the sun was moving upward. It is indeed crazy to think that the flat earth could somehow be going around the sun. Because we are most definitely fixed upon our foundation and not moving while the sun and moon move over us. How the sun and moon move exactly, that is undetermined. If we were to say the sun and moon are a binary system, that would be a claim that nobody has proven yet, as the moon appears to be its own form of light, different than the sun, as you can see blue sky through the moon, or as the sun has been seen to set and rise, the moon can just show up out of nowhere, right before your very eyes. They are entirely different luminaries, and they are definitely not ordinary, so therefore we cannot say that they rotate or are binary. As far as the sun acting like a spotlight, we cannot say for sure, but it is definitely not 93 million miles away and closer to 3,000, and that we would all concur. In fact, I would say it's even closer than that what you got right there. Now as far as the other planets being spherical, most flat earthers agree this has never been proven. We can see a round dot of light in the sky, however, you cannot prove it to be a ball if you can't see the other side. Here we go with the tired old edge argument. There are no flat earthers that believe you can fall off of any sort of edge. Many flat earthers do however believe that the oceans are surrounded by ice. If the oceans are surrounded by ice hypothetically, then there wouldn't be an edge to fall off of, would there? As again, no flat earthers believe that the earth is floating in space. In fact, many flat earthers believe the earth could go on infinitely and there could be other lands or other worlds that they are hiding from us. Now let's go the opposite direction. There are many flat earthers that believe we live underneath a giant dome or firmament if you will. If this is true, then that means we are most definitely intelligently created by a higher power. And also, if we are encapsulated in some sort of dome or firmament, then that means there is no edge to fall off of. Can I fall off the edge of my apartment? And if there hypothetically was an ice wall, you definitely wouldn't need to have armed guards on the wall. And they definitely wouldn't be provided by NASA. You see, all the countries agree on one thing that we're all friends when it comes to protecting Antarctica. We might be at war with each other elsewhere, but when it comes to Antarctica, we are all buddies under the Antarctic Treaty. And they have planes out there, they have boats out there, they have radar systems. They don't need to have armed guards sitting around on the ice wall. They can spy on you through your phone and telecommunication devices to know exactly what you're doing so that if you ever even dreamed of going exploring somewhere where you are not allowed, they will know when, where, and why, and how you are coming. Okay, and no flat earther ever said that the ice wall holds the world together. And no flat earthers believe in climate change. In fact, give me a minute while we laugh at you. You guys couldn't even sell the globe tards on global warming, so then you came up with climate change. Of course flat earthers don't buy that bull crap. Now, the reason why the government says the earth is round. All right, now this is the part of the video that pisses me off the most and is the reason why I'm making this rebuttal. Make some noise if you think the earth is flat. Make some noise if you think NASA's 